I had a shit ton of fun. And once I got used to the mechanics and really sorted the game out and could just cook, I was having a fucking blast. Those land dogfight stages, mm-hmm. you know, beating a dead horse to say those are the most fun I've had in a flying game on the NES. Like, period. You know, and that's, that's inclusive of a life force. That's inclusive of... There aren't a lot of other flying games I like, but <laughs> you know, so it's not like it's uh, it's not like there's a ton of competition maybe for this title. But those are the most fun I've had flying something on an NES game, and I think they did a really great job of executing three entirely different gameplay types. I enjoyed all of them to some degree or another, and I had no once I had, and it, like I said, there's a startup cost to it, but once I had figured them out control wise, I did not have any gameplay control gripes like it. Everything controlled fine. Everything did what it was supposed to do. Right. You had control over it that you're supposed to have. You know, I, I no complaints in that regard. Once you got the hang of it, it does have. You do have to get the hang of it, but once you do, it works like it's supposed to work. And all that said, like all the the metrics I measure historically awarding King Lorik's blessing for are just not met here. Like the final boss battle challenge and satisfaction. Not quite up there, really. The bosses throughout the game are fucking meaningless. So those, yeah. like, why even put those there? They're fucking useless. Uh, they're yeah, they're literally just I don't know. Like I almost want to say that they're the, the real failure. Like if you want to make them easy, because the levels are hard. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll listen to that as a choice, as a conscious, deliberate choice. But I think. You need to make them visually funner or something. You need the if they are solely a reward, I need more of a reward. You know what I mean? Yeah. If that's going to be the way you want to play that, and then the end game wrap up payoff being worth the work you put into the game. I mean, it falls so short in that area. You know, there's there's nothing game over, and then fucking score, fuck off. You know, so that really yeah. fucking sucks. And then yeah, I mean, the nail in the coffin. I think <laughs> for me is that I even thought of, let alone actually had to reference Dino Ricky while playing this fucking game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. The entire back half of the game is just a reskin. And even yeah. that is a barely, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's the same fucking thing, basically. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. And that's not, I, I don't, it, there's just no way to do that and really deserve being commended for it. You know, it's like, I don't care if you tell me the cart didn't, and then, you know, there is so much going on, too. Like, the different game modes and they're all well executed and yada yada yada. So like, if you don't, I like I you know the NES, I get it. Like you only have so much fucking shit to work with. Like fine, but just don't put them there. You know, like what's the point? Like why have the same thing? Like just have the game in then. You know, and like yeah. I know they probably the answer to that, of course, is someone probably told them they couldn't do that. You know, like it needed to have some certain amount of gameplay hours or something. Right. You know, and they had created all this cool shit, and they're, they're like. Uh, well, there's no more room. We either have to make the shit not cool or just double it, you know, and then I guess that's an easy business choice, but we're not looking at it from that perspective now, I guess, I guess is the answer, you know, we're trying to decide whether we want to play it now or whether we should tell someone to play it now. And that's, I don't think you can, I don't think I can give it King Lawrence blessing. Yeah. I think, I think it would disrespect past blessings. Yeah, to yeah give it, for sure. Like to put them in the same category. Like how do you do that? It's, (laughs) that's what's disappointing. Like, for me, I I'm not always I'm not usually a completionist who has to like hundred percent things all the time. I'm normally just a conqueror. I want to beat a game and move on. And so for me to not have beat this game, I was really bummed to not do that. Like it's I was struggling. However, upon understanding the duplicative nature of this, and I clearly have beat played eighty percent of this game. So you know <laughs> that's, a, that's a great way to look at it. Yeah. So. You know, I, I feel like I've I could I can actively talk about it. And as someone who loves flying shooters, like it, this is disappointing. Like, cause I love that genre, but because of that, I'm looking for certain things. I want to. There's certain aspects of that genre that I love, and one of them is weapon progression and the destruction of the enemies. Like being able to just lay down like a spread fire weapon, like in Contra or something that just like. A not, like annihilates the enemies in front of you is a fun feeling, and I felt like as someone who did not like get that maxed out cannon, I didn't, I never experienced that. And even looking at the sprites of the maxed out cannon, it still is just like this is kind of just like a machine gun, like, a, <laughs> like you know what I mean. So even visually in the way that works, like 
I never felt that reward from destroying things. Right. And that's what you want in a flying shooter. I want to destroy things and have it look cool and evade things. And I felt like I was mostly just trying to evade and then without much of the other thing. So, yeah, man, even, even though I was struggling on that, you know, on stage four, I, I wasn't enjoying it while I was doing it. And that, that was my <laughs> thing. Like, I didn't, I wasn't incentivized enough to like, oh, I got to keep going. Like, I'll get it. You know, other games, yeah, you struggle, but I'm going to keep going because I want to beat this. It's fun. And I was not enjoying it the whole time. And I was like, oh, come on. You're killing me, man. So, I, I, I would I recommend it to someone else? No, did I have fun? No, would I consider playing it again if they remastered it? Not unless like they changed the whole second half thing, so it was completely different. You know what I mean? And we're talking about a remaster, so maybe you could do more with it. But clearly, in this current state, like I'm, I'm passing. You know, it's funny. I think we we've talked through it in this uh, three hours here, but I think I miss. Because, like, my whole thing was, I was like, Jay, you'll fucking love this because it, it's a flying shmup. Yeah, yeah. And we, we, I think we tagged that. I think we answered mm-hmm. that question. It's not a flying shmup. It's not. Like, it looks, everything about it on the surface looks like it is. But it's fucking not. Yeah, it is not a flying shmup at all uh, in so many ways, you know. And, yeah. Yeah. Even even Dino Ricky, man. You talk about that. Obviously, a game I like. When I get, when you get the fire weapon... Then it's fun. Then you're laying waste to all your enemies, and that's why we said so. We 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 said yeah. during that episode that even though the guy's running around visually, that's a flying shmup. Everything about yeah, it exactly. Is a flying <laughs> shmup, you know, yeah. uh, everything. They have the progression of the weapons. Everything about it is a flying shmup, yeah. uh, except for just like that very one uh, small and not really even true. At like even the way the way he runs on the ground is not. It is not a friction based. Move. Yeah, it's very yeah. Yeah. fluid, like yep. kind of. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. So, yep, I mistagged it. My, my my bad for getting this into this on the premise. <laughs> I don't I don't regret us playing it, but I yeah. I got us into it on the premise that I thought you would change your mind about initial impressions because of what I perceived the game to be, and I miss I misgaged that. Uh, so I apologize to you for that. Uh, <laughs> but you made me play down on Ricky, so fuck you, Jay. 